All right. It is Saturday, I mean Sunday, oops, April 28th, 2019 at 7.24 p.m. It is Sunday, not Saturday. Anyways, um, here is the headlines. Four killed when crane falls, crushing vehicles in Seattle. At least four people were killed in Seattle and three more injured when a crane fell and crushed six vehicles, police said. The four people were dead when officials arrived, the Seattle Fire Department told the Associated Press. Two of the people killed were crane operators, and two others were in vehicles struck by the crane. A 27-year-old man, a 25-year-old woman, and a 4-month-old female infant were taken to a local hospital for treatment. Cura reports a fourth person was treated at the scene. A woman who works nearby witnessed the incident told the Seattle Times it was terrifying. She said the wind was blowing really strong, and then she saw the crane break in half. Half of it was flying down sideways of the building, she said. The other half fell down on the street, cr crossing both lanes of traffic. The National Weather Service tweeted it had wind gusts of 18 to 23 miles per hour were recorded at observation sites near the crane collapse. Would not consider these strong wind gusts, the National Service wrote. So sadly, people have passed away because of this. Please pray for their families. Alright, next. Bovine tuberculosis confirmed in Michigan cow herd, health officials say. A small beef herd in Alpena County, Michigan, has recently tested positive for bovine tuberculosis, health officials said Thursday. The infectious disease caused by bacteria Microbacterium bovis was identified through the routine surveillance testing, the state's Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, MDRD, said in a news release. The agency didn't state the exact number of infected cattle or how the herd contracted the disease. The free-ranging white-tailed deer population across several countries in the state are known to carry the disease. According to the agency, deer can potentially spread the infection to cattle through direct contact or through contact with the herd's feed or water supply. Let's hope this doesn't spread and that they finish culling the herd uh, that has that. Alright, measles quarantine issued at two California universities. A measles quarantine has been ordered at two public universities in Los Angeles in an effort to try to prevent the, hurt, the spread of the highly contagious disease. The order was announced by public health officials Thursday at the University of California, Los Angeles and California State University, Los Angeles for students, faculty, and staff who were exposed to the confirmed case of measles and cannot prove that they have been vaccinated against measles. Those students and university employees, numbering more than 200 people, were ordered to stay home, avoid contact with others, and notify public health officials if they develop symptoms. Both universities are assisting with the implementation of quarantine orders and determining how best to support students who must be quarantined and who live on campus, the Los Angeles County Police Department of Public Health said. The announcement comes as measles cases in the United States have surpassed the highest number on record since the disease had been declared eliminated nationwide in 2000. The U.S. Center of Disease Control and Prevention confirmed the milestone Wednesday, saying it has counted 695 cases in 22 states this year. With the outbreak spreading, President Donald Trump on Friday stressed the need for Americans to get vaccinated. And that's very important. Alright, next. Avengers Endgame shows movie theaters can still be on top of the world. Alright, so I went to see the Avengers movie. It was pretty good, you know. Um, guys, check it out if you have the time. Uh, I'm not going to do any spoilers on it. I'm going to wait seven days and then talk about it. But I'm just going to say go check it out. It's pretty good. Alright, it says here that it, Avengers Endgame took 1.2 billion worldwide, arriving at the number one movie in at least 54 countries. The euphorically reviewed movie collected a record-breaking 350 million in the United States and Canada, zooming past Star Wars The Force Awakens in 2015, which had an opening week in sales of 248 million, or about 270 million in today's dollars. It shows the power of theaters, the ability even in hyper-fragmented culture to deliver a wildly big communal experience. So it was a pretty good movie. I'm glad if you guys saw it that you enjoyed it. In a week I'll talk more about it. But that's it for this video right now. I'm going to be making another video after this about earthquakes. So check that one out too. Alright guys, hit like and subscribe and see you guys next time. God bless.